we were playing Star Trek uh, Bridge Crew. So this is a VR game. You're working together in a team of four. You got to battle Klingons and that kind of stuff. So it's kind of fun. But even in a game as sort of simple as that, there's clear differences between the performance of the team and that's a way to be told what to do, and the captain has to think of everything, and a team where everybody's thinking and everyone's engaged. And that was really what we were hoping for. No lifetime. Okay. Should I scan for weapons, maybe? Um, the biggest obstacle in getting my team to work in, in this different way I think are um, to ensure that we have the right level of clarity and purpose, well defined. We are ready to go. Two, one, charge. It was pretty cool actually, and I'm most excited about the fact that people very quickly behave like they behave in real life. What we were trying to do was really uh, highlight the difference between an environment where people just wait to be told what to do, or whether they step forward, take initiative and say, hey, this is what I think needs to happen, or maybe even this is what I intend to do because I already know it needs to happen. So the important question that the dive is asking in a very immersive way is, if one person cannot be in charge but everybody needs to lead, how do we deal with these situations? So we are kind of poking the bear here and putting the leaders of Accenture in a situation where they just have to emotionally experience this new kind of leadership. The most pressing insight was that um, it would be good to agree on a strategy up front. We have a long way to go, right? It's up to us now to define in detail how we want to bring it to life. I see Accenture in the lead for virtual reality training. We do this for clients and hopefully we do it much more for ourselves as well.